I saw one comment that referred to your account as the I told you so channel. What do you think about that? Absolutely. Unabashedly, unapologetically, 100%. Definitely. The I told you so channel. That's right. Look, <clears throat> there's two types of credentials that anyone can provide for their audience. Uh, people who do geopolitical analysis, political analysis, economic analysis, and so on. Two types of credentials that you can provide. One is the sort of institutional credentials, right? Like you have a degree in economics, you have a degree in geopolitics or, or what have you, international relations, or you work for some sort of think tank or some, uh, you know, university or some intelligence, you know, in some, some capacity for intelligence agency of some kind. And this is your credential. And this is what you tell people. I have a PhD in blah, blah, blah. So you should listen to me. Uh, that's one type of credential. The other type of credential is when you have an actual track record of being right in your analysis, of being accurate in what you've said, of being proved correct and true in your analysis, in your evaluation, in your assessment of uh, geopolitical, economic, political situations. Uh, usually, these two don't overlap. Very often you'll find that the people who have the institutional credentials don't have a track record of success in accurately analyzing uh, current affairs or analyzing geopolitical uh, scenarios, situations. Uh, so that's what I have. That's my credentials. I have a track record of being right in my analysis. So yeah, I say I told you so. Because if you don't listen to me now, I reserve the right to tell you I told you so when it comes to pass, what I'm, what I'm talking about. Absolutely. Because how else are you supposed to actually determine who you should listen to today except by looking at whether or not this person was right yesterday and before yesterday and before and last year and two years ago and 20 years ago? Do they have a consistent track record of being accurate in what they say in, in their assessment? and in their forecasting and in their predictions. Because very oftentimes, like I said, the people with the institutional credentials uh, are never called to account for their mistakes. They're never called to account for all of their bad takes, all of their wrong predictions. Because they can still say, oh, I have this Harvard degree, or I have this Yale degree, or I work for such and such think tank. So therefore, you should continue to listen to me, even though I've seldom ever been right. So yeah, that's the credential that I can bring the same way that somebody with a PhD or somebody with a title who works for a think tank or a, you know, a school of international studies or what have you, or who, who is an author and has these, this book and that book, uh, the same way that they will always be introduced or will introduce themselves or will make reference to their academic credentials uh, as a... Uh, as an argument for why you should listen to them, to try to convince you that you should listen to them because they have this, this or that academic credential. The same way that they do that, and you don't have a problem with them doing that, even though it doesn't actually mean anything. You don't have a problem with them doing that. That's how they establish uh, their right to speak on a subject. That's how they establish why you, as an audience, should listen to them. Okay, well, the way I establish it is by saying, look at my track record. I have very often, alhamdulillah, been correct in my assessment of geopolitics, of economics, of international relations. So yeah, that's why I say I told you so. And this is the only way that I can convince anyone that they should listen to what I have to say. Because if you're very stuck on uh, only listening to people with academic credentials or institutional credentials, uh, then you may very often find that you are following uh, wrong opinions and wrong evaluations and in fact propaganda. But what I can offer as evidence as to why you, maybe you should consider uh, my view on a, on a particular subject is that Alhamdulillah I have very frequently, uh, my assessments have been proven true. So yeah.
Yeah, I told you so, channel. Maybe I'll change the name. 